Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dredden, and this is Subnautica Early Access. This is the Cuttlefish um, expansion, and uh, we're all the way up here. And look what I have in my hand. What is this thing? Well, this is the uh, mm, da -da 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 -da, laser cutter. I did not need it to get in here, uh, for those of you following my series. Um, the last episode didn't record uh, exactly. I had sound, all kinds of good sound, but no video. So anyways, I'll sort of just rewalk you through some of the parts. Okay, this is the terminal in the control room of the base that was on the island. And, uh, here we go. Oop. So he's hesitant, and then he presses it. His hand is restrained, and that thing just pokes him. Uh, and then the computer says, um, infected individuals may not turn off this facility. Um, yeah, that's what he says. And then your PDA normally says something to the effect of another facility has been detected southwest, um, about 1,000 meters um, southwest of here, 800 meters below the surface. So that's basically that. Um, ooh, there, guy. Chill. Why are you bouncing off things? We had to climb up this giant thingy. So this is where one of the, another artifact was, so a purple artifact. So if you didn't have one getting to this point, which is this door here, you'd get one on your way. Um, dun 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 dun. So yeah, that's, that's down over there, just kind of below this final entrance, so don't worry. Just keep forging forward. Um, that's once again this room, and um, I've sent the um, developers some screenshots of this crazy thing. Um, and another one. There we go. So maybe that'll get fixed. This is the moon pool. Wow. This thing is cool. Um, this is where I'm going to put my big old submarine. Um, but there's scary things out there. I don't know if you just saw it. It was right over there, maybe? And, uh, some crazy octopus things that make big swirly jiggies. It's not fun. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, but I don't think we can actually build anything in here, per se. So I'm kind of curious. I wonder, like, if you could build it out there and then come in? I don't know. I've never seen anybody do it, but I haven't watched everybody's videos. This is uh, the door that we were stuck behind the, the elevator. So, that's what is going on there. I did have an extra an artifact, right? Yes, and an ion crystal. I didn't bring one originally, and I went exploring up the uh, hill and ended up not being able to find that thing. So, sorry, not being able to trigger a, um, a warp gate because I did not have the ion crystals. Because the one that was here and uh, where else was it? Up over there. Uh, I have them at my base. Uh, that's a glitch. Yeah, right here. Here's a glitch. Wonder how to, like, send that one. Okay, I tried to send them that bug, too. You just can hear is ominous. Or technologically and industrial. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to quickly just go down here to show you where I found an interesting thing, which was just a, uh, get in there. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Um, so like just down here, I think it was. Yes, there it is. Uh, there's a cave entrance not too far down. It's only, what, 100 meters? 
this cave entrance, there was another artifact right there. So, just in case you wanted to know. But this cave system's kind of cool. Uh, there's nothing really that way. But this way... Um, this goes to one side of the base, uh, deepish. And this goes to another side. Over there, though, there's a lot of um, octopus things. Which don't like you. But yeah, the base goes down really deep. Which is really... Whoa! Uh, that's the thingy. Time to get out of here. Yikes. Never mind, they're here too. Ah. Okay. Let's get out of here. Um, T E. Whew, man, that thing is intimidating. And I had said that by the future you would think that they would um, have solved the issues with um Oh, those things were extremely rotten. Oh, no. Oh, that sucks. That sucks hard. Okay. Um, those were... Sp I thought I had, um, cured those ones. I thought those cured things didn't go bad. I'm gonna have to look into that. See what exactly went down there. Alrighty then. I will see you back over there. Actually, I'm going to take this second to explain to you something that happened. So with this Cuttlefish update, um, I just decided that I was going to play the game from the start. So I rebuilt everything. I played everything right through, just in case we didn't you know, miss part of the story, but we haven't. Which is cool. Ho oh, there, everybody. Um... Now, I've done, like, a lot of farming. A lot of farming to get ready for this, because I want to play through um, a lot further than I had before. Um, let's pick up a number of these, get ourselves fed. And so this is my second floor. I've added a bunch of fish tanks with all kinds of exotic fish. Even the hoverfish, hoopfish, spadefish. Yeah. Pretty much all of them. And then back upstairs is just the big old reactor still, so. Yeah, but I relayed these things into the different direction so that, it, you know, I can make expansions out of here. Because we're going to get expansions. I've already got the uh, scanner room. I just don't know. i got to put it in. I was going to do that, uh, well, technically this episode, but um, I didn't. So all the locker names are still on here. Lockers awaiting names. Okay. Anyway, I will see you back where we were to continue the story. Yeah, if you guys didn't know, um, these aren't seriously little breakable ones, eh? But you see how I've got that little mask on my face? You can take that off by pressing F6, right? You can cycle through all these different settings, just in case you didn't know and would rather play like this. This is my preferred way of playing. Anyway... Oh, that sucked. I realized what I lost now, because, um... I'd been up in this cave. But yes, you think in the future that LED lights would be on, like, every standard helmet. But now, if you have the flashlight, now it's daytime, so it doesn't really matter. But as soon as you start running, you can't see a dang thing. Um, I mean, I guess it's a gameplay mechanic, because, I don't know, I learned how to run with a flashlight when I was young. Probably after I learned how to run with scissors, but, uh, hey, I don't quite remember a long time ago. Um, so in here, there was a ton of little cave crawlers and, you know, things like lithium and basalt outcropping, so I got tons, oh no, of gold and whatnot. I haven't been up here. Hello. Oh, another purple artifact. Nice. 
I didn't know about that. See, like, why not just hold your dang flashlight out, buddy? Okay, actually, you've never been up this way. But this whole cave system is, like, chock full of, um, awesome resources here. Hi, Mr. Guy. I'm gonna get you. I need a stasis rifle. That's what I need. Or, uh, something else. Hey, get out of here. I get the first strike. Oh, but it doesn't really matter. He still gets me. Come here, you little bastard. Okay. They only take three hits. Looks like that dude went into the wall here, but no, I guess not. Good as this place. I don't know. Is it baseable? No. Oh, yep. This barrier is baseable. Neat. Cool. Uh, switch my things, please. Creepy. Okay. Um, knife. Uh, actually, I want my flashlight. Don't want to take fall damage, because, man, they have made that hurt. Okay. Oh, there's another little track over there that has some lithium, too. These caves are way more complicated than I originally thought. Um, Bulbo tree. That's pretty impressive. Okay. To the to the gate that I had found. I'm not even gonna mess with that dude. Get this floating lithium block. Thank you. And um, down in the cave that was down there. Um, there's a pretty extensive cave system down there that I had not really realized. Oh, is that supposed to have a hole through it? Because... Weirdness. Anyway, um... Sorry, I'm still kind of exploring. Um, yeah, a cave system that goes really dang down there. Oh, this is part of it, too. Um... Yeah, and I had missed a ton of these little resource nodes as I was coming up. This place is great if you need lithium and, like, gold and, uh, I think silver and uranium. Maybe not silver. Diamond and uranium, that's what it is. Though I didn't get any uranium. Just gold and tons of diamond, so... We'll just grab some of that, and then we'll get back going. Oh, awesome. Um, we wandered through the cave in such a way that it was a different way, but we ended up coming to the same place I wanted to go to. Anyway, that's cool. So you just kind of go through these caves and eventually you find this awesome warp gate. Last time I didn't have the ion crystal. This time I do. There you go. Have it. Yum, yum, yum. Adventure time. Um, excuse me. I just jumped through there. I didn't test the waters. I didn't care. Okay. Cool. Uh-huh. So, another area. Um, another cave. Not many resources in this cave. Hmm. Oh, that's a wall. Oh. This looks like the island, the floating island, the, the moon pool. Oh god, no, there's a wall there. Oh, good. Should never dive into something if you don't know what's underneath you. Yeah, that's where this is. Is 
So I have gotten into this cave system be into there before, but I don't remember it looking quite like that. Okay, so let's um, go back because we don't have our sea moth. I was actually planning to come over here, um, cause I don't know. I think that's the next thing of our leg of our journey, maybe. Um, we need to. Well, I need a marble melon, and I forgot to get one. And so now, from what I recall, you can jump down there from one of these spike ire thingies. This one? But I remember getting hurt if you don't... Yeah, this one. If you don't do it right. So, do it right. No! Oh, God. Okay, well, I'll show you the attempt that I actually make, I guess. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ow. It hurts, but it's doable. Um, health kit. Okay, there we go. So, um, let's go back and get to the Seamoth, and I will, we'll go explore what's underneath there. My guess is we're going to have to get some sort of pressure enhancements. I have a rebreather, so maybe I should make the rebreather first, and then we'll go. Because I have this new high alt or ultra capacity air tank thing, but um, I'm going to pick up the lithium. I mean, I know there's lots of salt here, but which, uh, okay, I'm full. So no more break-in stuff, because we don't know what we're missing or losing. Okay, um, and down, I think. Be like, why not hold your dang light out, man? These little cave creatures are trying to get ya. They're gonna serve ya. You can't dance your way out of this. Hmm. Oh, yes. I will see you back at our base. Oh, I didn't mention this last time, but um, I also renamed the base uh, Meridia. If people know where that reference is from. That is awesome. Um. Okay, cool. Took. I guess there might be more than one reference, because but I know it from a, the one for sure. Oh yeah, so it was kind of sad. Uh, we missed one message. Uh, let me see if I can find it in the uh, voice log. Uh, da, 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 da. there it is. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Still nothing. I was here. I was trying to communicate back. They run out of engine grease. They send an SOS. You offer to help. They don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's going to take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. It's like I need a I'll big, big antenna. See what the long range scan picks up in the meantime? Damn charter's gonna have us wasting our profit margin running errands for Altera. Yeah, this planet has a very quick um, day night cycle, right? Like, I think it's only been like six hours or seven hours of playtime. Life pod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. Scans show dry land. Uh, rendezvous point. Good luck. This message will not repeat. The coordinates are corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates. Anyways, it's uploaded here. Boop. Um. Yeah. So, we don't know where we have to go to find them. Oh, yes, the disease research facility. Information of a second alien facility, the depth of 700 meters, and an arch. Industrial applications. Cool, so, yes, further research required. Um, 
Okay, so, in here, personal. I think I was, another good thing to do would be to build the radiation suit, which I do also have the stuff for, and the rebreather is a wiring kit and fiber mesh. We have all those things now because we are stock full of things. Okay, um, hmm. Let's see here, what exactly? These are the fiber mesh, so one each. So let's uh, dump some of this stuff in this one? Yes, a little bit of it, anyway. These are fiber mesh. But it's not actually the one. Okay, we can put the salt in there. That's, I'm trying to try, try, keep this a little bit organized. This one is all titanium. This one is more precious materials. So, I am flush, right? Like, I'm good for materials now. Okay, so let's make some things. Let's take... No, we can't take one of those, but we need... One, two... And I have a wiring kit as well. Oh, what am I doing with these? I feel like I'm making a power charger thing. Let's... no. Diamond. Diamond, you can go back in there. Uh, computer chip. Diamond, diamond, diamond. I probably actually need some titanium instead. Uh, let's check, because... Oh, I know what it was, yes. Um, I was gonna build the... there it is, power cell charger. Um, I was thinking I was going to wait for the actual, um, um, da, 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 a different part of the base to be built, but you know what, I think I do my little, um, vehicle there, I put it right in the middle of this weird wall. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know what, I'm going to do that, I'm going to put it up higher though. Yep. Just to be weird. Okay, I need some glass. Mm, not in there. But I probably need some titanium, so let's take some of that. I think it was four? Just off the top of my head. Uh, where did I have the glass? There. I'll have to grab the power cell from the Seamoth and stick her in there. Okay, so we needed two lead. Almost got too many supplies, I think. Awesome. Okay, cool. And radiation helmet. Oh, how does this work with the rebreather then? Huh. Mm -mm -mm. Wiring kit and fiber mesh. Well, I'll have time to get other things. I'm going to build the rebreather first. Okay, here's the rebreather. Yes, I will, mother. Okay, um, let's see here. Let's get some lantern fruit. Okay, so I can either have one or the other. So, um, for now, I think we will put this one in here. And we're going to... Oh, I have more... Why is it so loud? Ugh! So don't try to save them without submersible support. Okay. Life Pod 12. Okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. Let's go try to rescue. Um, life pod six. Because we are now able to do so. Um, as long as we still have some power. Test out this new radiation suit. Oh, the other thing I tried to do was I uh, went back to the area with um, the Seamoth um, docking bay or something and. Uh, I tried to get into that, but realized I couldn't. Um, apparently you don't need the laser to get 
into it because there is no door anymore that has need for the laser. So that is good, I guess. Okay, yeah, they're in a dangerous area, and the top of their their hatch blew off. Oh, you're such a terrible beast, I hear ya. Go away. Okay, let's park this thing. I'm being quiet. Don't bug me. Okay, uh, let's get in there and see what's happened with them. Okay, let's figure this out. Some lead. Oh. Yikes! Yeah, it looks like they were actually doing alright. And then, whatever happened here. Uh, let's see here, we want this to be number five. So we want to maybe do a scan. Dun, 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 dun. Nope, nothing to scan down here. Too bad I couldn't take these power cells. These are good power cells. Okay, anyway, let's uh, get out of here. They're obviously not here. They peaced out. Whoa! Oh man, what was that? A fish? Probably. Is there anything around here that? they may have used what's in here nothing oh wait a second that's just more of a the laser there are resources over here but um, these dang plants I don't like there's not a whole lot okay well with that guys I'm gonna call this an episode next episode we're gonna go and try to find uh, the survivors of the Degasi, uh, wherever they went, which is beneath the um, floating island there. Uh, and I realized something um, that was kind of an interesting thought. That floating island, I mean, if it was floating, it should just go anywhere, right? Like anywhere the current takes it, or the wind. But, um, I think it's actually designed to stay where it is for some reason. The aliens must have made it stay there somehow. I don't see any sort of thrusters or anything, but perhaps they could be concealed in the structure of the actual, um, I don't know, the porous structure of the material that the island is made out of. And so maybe it like actually auto-corrects itself and stays exactly where it is. This would be an area, a nice little area for a moon pool. Hmm. Anyways, if you guys liked the episode, give it a like. Stay tuned for more, because I've been playing this a lot lately, and I'm going to finish it. Because I want to finish it before the release comes out. Or, anyways, just continue on and get it done uh, shortly after the release of Subnautica. And anyway, um, yeah, hit that like button if you liked it. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. I guess we should take a look at the uh, the life pod thing here. Um, I shouldn't have left her leave me here. It's getting dark. She's probably gone to the rendezvous on her own or drowned trying. So I have to do something. I'm going to send up a flare and then a flare sent. The hatch opening. What are you doing? Sending up a flare. Um, where have you been? That's not a distress flare. Stop waving it around like that. You'll catch the power grid. Oh. Hmm. It's not a distress flare. What kind of... St oh, it's like a... A lighting flare. Okay, yes, I see. So, the person was not properly trained in the use of flares. Um, fail for the um, Altera training program, I guess. Okay. Bye-bye, guys.